Hey, everybody. Victor Pisano with Charge Up. Excited to have Stephen McRoberts as well as Russ Friedland from Missouri State University Volleyball. We're going to have a little trivia contest between the two. We've got the associate head coach. We've got the coach. What a perfect opportunity to crown the king of volleyball trivia. So, Russ, Stephen, you guys ready to try this out? Let's do it. No. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> the rules are simple. Each question is worth one point. If the person that I'm asking the question to gets it wrong, the other person gets the opportunity to answer the question to earn two points. Okay? I have a tiebreaker at the end just in case you guys are that smart. So we're going to start even. Steven, you're the head coach. You win the coin flip. So you're going to get the first question, a breeze. What are the measurements of a women's indoor volleyball court? Uh, that would be 30 by 60 feet. Ding. One point. So now, Russ, here comes yours. What are the measurements of the net for an indoor women's volleyball court? Just height and length. Well, it's, it's uh, set, I think it's seven foot four and five eighths tall, the net. Um, and the length, the length, like the, the width of the net? No, the length of it, side the to side. Length of the length of the net. The length of the net. Uh, I think it's 36 feet. Steven, would you like the opportunity to discover the correct answer as it pertains to the length of the net? If so, it will earn you two points. If not, we just stay at one to nothing. Uh, I would guess 34 feet. The correct answer is 30 feet. So seven four by thirty. Oh, okay. 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 Just, uh, just across. I thought it. Okay. It <laughs> I would have told you that. Yeah, from from sideline to sideline, thirty feet. Sure. But though, I think there's three feet on each side of the net. Now, how long have you had these pains, Mr. Barber? No, that's Babar. Two Bs. One B. B A B A R. That's two. Yeah, but not right next to each other. I thought that's what you meant. Are we good? You like that? Okay, so right now we got one to nothing. We got one to nothing. But I got the other part. I don't get half a point or anything. We'll give you seven, half a point. Seven, it, four, point and five. five. You're gonna get, you'll, you'll be the point five. Which rounds one, up to one, so one to one. One to point five. We'll find another place for you to get another point five. Somewhere. Okay, I'll let him talk you into it, Victor. Don't worry. <laughs> point five is – winners don't want point fives. They don't want that. It rounds up – point five rounds up to a one, so – one-to-one. One. <laughs> okay, so, Stephen, your turn. What year did volleyball begin as a game? And I'm going to give you choices. I'm oh, going to okay. give you an A, B, C, and D. A, 1895. B, 1776. C, 1901. Or D, 2019. <laughs> really just three choices. Can I so phone again, a friend? 1895, 1776, 1901, 2019. Uh, let's go with 1901. Okay, so Stephen has missed that question. Russ, you have the opportunity to step in. The choices, 1895, okay. 1776, 1901, 2019. A. 1895? Yes, sir. Ding. You are correct. 1.5 to 1. Wait, I thought I got two points if he got it wrong. Oh, you do get two. So you actually have 2.5 to 1. Okay. Russ, this is your question now. Okay. What country did volleyball get its start? A, Australia. B, Uganda. C, Spain. D, United States. D, United States. We have a winner. 3.5 to 1. Stephen, the longest volleyball game on record took place in Kingston, North Carolina. It lasted A, 42 hours and 12 minutes, 29 hours 
and 42 minutes, 81 hours and nine minutes, or 75 hours and 30 minutes. All of those sound awful. <laughs> and stress that's why that's why those coaches are bald for sure. <laughs> Paul they're great. Uh so you gave me four four numbers there. Uh I'm just randomly no I don't even want to know what the numbers are that you said. I'm just gonna randomly say C. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's taking the SAT yeah, all over yeah, again. One hundred percent. I like that. So close but no cigar. So, Russ, I'll throw this to you, and I'll give you the three numbers just in hours. 42, 29, or 75? I think 29. Okay. Both of you are wrong. The answer is 75 hours and 30 minutes. So, we still have the same score of 3.5 to 1. Russ, here comes yours. Who invented... The game of volleyball. Oh my gosh. A, <clears throat> William Morgan. B, James Namesmith. C, Howard Schultz. D, Damaris Linker. A. <laughs> <laughs> A. <laughs> you sure it's not D? I don't think so. Sorry, okay. <laughs> A is correct. It is William Morgan. 4.5 to 1. Steven, this is where you come in. Are you ready? I need some help here. Don't yeah, give me, like, the longest game. And it's, I got maybe. a good one for you. Okay. This is, this is a good a, one. I need a softball toss here. Okay, here we go. What was volleyball called when the game began? A? Can I, hey, can I say it without – can I get a bonus point if I don't even take things? We'll do a point and a half. Um, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Mentonet is uh, or some, something to that effect. Um, That's a ding, ding, ding. 4.5. We're giving him 1.5. So 2.5. I, I feel like it's a gymnastics routine at this point. Okay, now we can just round them both up and keep even numbers. 5-3. There you go. Okay. I'm going to remember that. I'll tell the athletes when I'm there. Look, you ran two and a half sprints. We'll call it three. We'll do it that way, too. You can tell them that. I don't think they're going to listen, but you can try. <laughs> At my age and Russ's age, we would take that. Like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, a push-up, you don't have to define that. It's not floor up. So, Russ, here you go. This is a funny one. I like this question. On average, how many times will a player jump in a game? 100 200, 300, or 400 times? On average, 200. Okay, so incorrect answer. Steven, this is a big one for you. This is a two-pointer. This could tie the game. 100, he hit, said 200. That's incorrect. 300 or 400? I'm guessing, I'm guessing A. 100? The answer is 300 Three. times on average. Three. So no one gets that. We have the same score, 5-3. Yeah. We even keep that data and look at it <laughs> like, <laughs> all the time. Like the I don't vertical. remember us ever having hitters that ever got anywhere close to 300. Setters, I guess if you average in setters. They... A- that's why I said, like average is maybe. Yeah. I, as soon as I said two, I knew, and you said it was wrong, I knew it was three. You was one up? Yeah, I was waiting for a 250. 250 would have been a happy number for me. You were looking for that sweet spot? 2.5. You know, I'm living on those 0.5s. That's true. That's true. Now, we have two questions left, one for each of you, and in case we do have a tiebreaker. So, Stephen, here's your chance to get some points. Where is volleyball ranked as one of the most popular sports in the world? Is it first, second, third, or fourth? And this is in the world popularity. I'm going to say B, second. We have a winner. That's what I we have say. a winner. Behind soccer, I'm assuming. That was your Another question, Russ. Point. That's Another a half point. point. That's a half point. So we are now 
five to four and a half. Russ, here's your question. What is the standard weight for a women's indoor volleyball? I'm waiting for the A, B, C, and D. Oh, this should be a breeze. What's a regulation volleyball weigh? Is... Hey, Bill Belichick knew. That wasn't he knew how much the football. His wasn't, regu- his wasn't regulation. <laughs> exactly, but he knew it. I mean, I know was. how much. I know how much air goes in them. I just don't know how how much it weighs. Jeez. Okay, so if Stephen gets this question and gets it right, he wins the game. Okay. Are you ready to give it up? Are you even taking a guess? Yeah, guess. One pound. Okay. So it's incorrect. So Stephen, here's your chance to be the volleyball trivia champion. Um, I'm going to guess. Half a pound. Is that what is that in ounces? Is there an is, is this six. an ounces? Yeah, it'll be in ounces. So that would be six ounces. Is that only six? How Twelve many ounces, ounces make a? I think it's eight. I think eight make a pound. I think sixteen make a pound. Ten ounces. Nine point nine. He's got to get that one. He's got to get that one. Why? The, the, the answer is not 10. It was 9.9. <laughs> it you got to give it to us. You got to round up. It rounds up just like point <laughs> <five>. <laughs> That comment well, on question both, one. We both rounded up. We both rounded up. So it's even. No, he wins. That was the question. Okay. <laughs> so the two, the 2020 volleyball trivia champion is Stephen McRoberts. Undeserved, I really wish. undeserved, but I'll take it. I, re- I Okay, can I give, I'll give you uh, extra info with the next time that you do this? Okay. And, and this is volleyball knowledge off the top of my head. You said, you asked me where, where volleyball started and, and the United States was the answer. I can give yes. you town, town and state. Holyoke, Massachusetts. 1895. Boom. I, I knew it was Massachusetts. So you're there. Holyoke. Right. It's right next to, it's right next to the basketball, the volleyball hall of fame is there. And then it's right next to the basketball hall of fame. Okay. Let's see how smart you are. When did sand volleyball become a sport? <sighs> but on what, in what regard? For women's athletics. NCAA. Yes. Twelve, twenty twelve, almost twenty eleven, twenty ten, twenty ten, twenty ten. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. Yeah, I, I had that, but I thought it'd be unfair. It'd be unfair, but you know. So the good news is the winner of this contest uh, gets a free beer at Russ's Bar and Grill. <laughs> so that should work out. Oh, I win. I win too. It's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. Okay. Does the only one who loses is there me. when I go to collect. Does Russ have to be there? No, I mean, I mean, my bar is yours. It's an open bar. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bring anything you want to fill up. Anything you want. Just wave to the cameras before you do it. <laughs> do you have a little camera there? I, I, outside my garage, I have security. I have security cameras. Yeah. Nice. You need a bouncer if you really um, want to be legit. That's my garage door. Yeah, that would work, actually. Okay.